Hello, my friends. My friend, uh, somebody's here. I have a telegram from somebody. Wild. I wonder from whom. Get all shit up over here. I'll sit up. Okay. Okay. Shit, how you do that? All right. <clears throat> Welcome in, y'all. Fletcher. Very good. Um, Becker. Five fifty four. Rain. <coughs> oh, you got Connor hurt. Miss Rain, how did you manage that? Was it cougars? Uh, pretty good ears for those types of animals. Just gotta pay attention. Sometimes you can get a drop on them rather than the other way around. Nonetheless, I'll be happy to adventure wherever you have in mind. I'll be sure to check up on Connor. I'll let you know. He's dying or some such. But I imagine he's fine. Thank you. I 
And then one, two, Annalise Becker. Garden fire. Kind of got blue power now. Mm. Do me a favor and read this while you're waiting. Well, it depends on the favor. Curious one, when well, you say the least. Oh, Lachlan. Just squeezing the lady here. Iron Moody Baby 616 re fishing. Miss Annalise. Fishing sounds nice. As I said, I'm just waking up now. I don't know if you're around or maybe we'll be around tomorrow, maybe Thursday evening. I'm gonna try and this is the last place I knew my family to be and the last place I knew her parents to be probably will take me most of the weekend. I don't imagine I'll find much as it's been at least six years, but still worth a look. Another You've been nasty, she. What? Carter Taylor. <coughs> Switch my clothes. Wow, there's all sorts of people on the, uh... Yeah, on the porch. It's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet. I uh, just knew somebody said the word. It's quiet. <laughs> Uh, take it. Nobody's paying attention to the uh, tip line. Yeah, I checked less than minutes ago. Is there something fresh? Uh, there's somebody uh, from uh, Deputy Zoe in Rhodes about a fellow with uh, multiple gum shots in Rhodes. Rightio. Bye, Fletcher. Nice to see yeah. you. Nice to see you. If you take a wagon, I can do paperwork. I mean, we'll take a good Might as well. All right. How are you feeling, Connor? 
mobile. Oh, that's good. I uh, had a telegram from Miss Rain, which said that you got injured. So. Yeah. Um, Cougar got me. I wondered. Yep. Got to look professional, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, normally. What? No, I'm, I'm just helping with paperwork. All right. All right. He's on okay, lat okay, duty, man. apparently. Lat duty. <laughs> he's not done the. He's not done the teapot test yet. Can't make me. There's obstacle courses. Uh, we will do a teapot test when the time comes. We have to make sure you're in physical condition. I'm gonna find another, another person to clear me. You, you do realize that many of my adorable, lovely folks have all. Thank you. You as well. Bye bye. Many folks in the medical department have been taught my ways, Connor, that were passed down to us by the wonderful, the senior medic, Clyde Hutchinson. He couldn't get that many people to do it when I joined. Yes, and now look at me. I have managed uh, to get many people. That just to means that uh, Miss, that just means Doctor Fletcher is a little more uh, charismatic. Mm. Or authoritative. I, I don't know. I, I never, <laughs> never met this other fellow. I have decided to focus on other teachings of Clyde Hutchinson. I'm focusing on saluting. You're focusing yes. on the teapot. We are yes. specialists <laughs> in our respective parts of Clyde. The Clyde yeah. teaching. Bella has successfully, well, was technical. for me it was more Eliana, but the, the good medicine has been effectively cut out of the curriculum. The good medicine. Good we used medicine. to actually, I swore that as my oath. Oh. I always, I, he made me swear it as a part of my oath that I would quote, always practice the good medicine. I honestly don't remember if that was in mine or not. It might have been. But it was actually, well, Margo, it was for Margot, so probably not. No, 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 no. Okay. It's, uh, it's okay. Clyde <laughs> did it because honestly, I've been tempted to start doing it to train his I swear. <laughs> well, I did it by accident and I got a lecture from uh, Connor, so. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You get a lecture from Connor and a pat on the back from me. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm not charismatic, so I just did. Oh, stop it. You just, just no, I, I said nothing about you in that statement, right, Connor. Right, left. Just be aware. Ready to rose, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, there was nothing about you in that statement, Connor. I don't read into it. Please. <laughs> was there um, was there any additional uh, info in on the tip? I, I didn't actually open it. I have no idea. I did, I I heard you mention it. Oh, you I didn't look at it either. Okay. No, I didn't <laughs> look at it. I heard you say multiple gunshot wounds rose, and I thought right. That's us, it's dope. <laughs> God. Because I Probably. checked it just a few minutes ago and I was like, oh yeah, it's clean, it's fine. And then it was, and then when you walked out, I was like, yep, bloody typical. Yep, there was uh, one from Dr. McNamara saying he was coming in for a checkup. And then there was the one about the gunshots. And then there was something uh, Dr. Bella, which I think was just a check in. I didn't look at it too close. Yeah. Bella sent a check in tip from Armadillo. I included an information note informing us all that the <coughs> night is potentially going to be a bit of an interesting one. Oh, we've indeed. Got, <coughs> we've got an extremely violent thing out east. Well, the way we're currently heading is actually called the Red Jackets. Appropriately named, the Red Black and the Red. The Red Jackets. <laughs> but from what I was informed by CEW Grey, we are, well, to put it nicely, there's, um, there's a group of deputies currently pursuing them who are. Uh, to, to match their ferocity, as it were. I'm, uh, so, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the same group that uh, Silas and I was in uh, Valentine, and uh, some fellas, was it... I heard two names. It was like a Nate and a Cecil, I think, um, that were outside, and we were locked in the back with... Uh, mm. I think Vannevar was with us. I'm not sure, though. I'm, quite frank, I'm not necessarily familiar with Red Jacket names. They've, I've heard the name of the gang, but not really the members. Gotcha, gotcha. But that's most likely just because two ships in the night, anyway. Right, right. Well, I mean, they, they probably don't come see us all that often. No. Which is, you know, 
No problem, Pretty. I always wonder when, like, you know, where where is Outlaw Clinic? Where do people get taken when they're injured, or do they just do surgical work? Well, like from a uh, somewhere. from when I was looking at Vulture the other day, uh, he had that mm. shotgun pellet stuck in his back or something. Um, speaking of which, I, I imagine we got to follow up on that unless that surgery's happened. Um, he was saying that uh, the lady that operated on him did it right in the uh, burnt down store in uh, Limpany. So he's lucky that he didn't get an infection. Oh, he's very lucky he didn't get an infection. Yep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think he's lucky he can walk. He's lucky for a lot of things. I, I mean, I, I, didn't I, I, she surgery. didn't. She didn't do too bad of a job, except for missing whatever it is that's pressing on the nerve. But um, mm -hmm. otherwise, I mean, and uh, from what he said, it was pretty dark, so it's probably easy to miss that anyway. But still, you're right. You're right. I'm gonna. We're going to head straight over to the office. If you, you two gentlemen, you like want to tackle it, sent in or anything, Connor, you know, Ooh. I'm it. He's do that. Well, now he's on. All right, he's off. <laughs> well, there's somebody in there. Right here, Mr. Moody. Go ahead and Connor. We have arrived. Howdy, St. Cross and Department of Health. Uh, how can I help? Oh, is it Sheriff Manius? No. That man has multiple like gunshot wounds, like very serious gunshot wounds, and uh, he died. I see, I see. Oh, okay. Blasted the shit out of him. Ah. Yeah. And like, uh, there were gunshot wounds to his like neck, to his like you know upper upper body. Um, yeah. And he's dead, you said. Um, say again. And he's dead, you said. Yeah, we checked vitals multiple times um, when we arrived already. He, there were already no vitals, I'm afraid. I see. Uh, well, if it's all right with you, I'm just going to double check and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Of course, we've, of course. we've got um, it. If he's just asked yeah. us to take a look as field medics, but I, oh, sure, there was nothing sure. we could have done um, for him. I'm of course. afraid. So, what now? Uh, yep. He is, he is in fact dead. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know if, if we'd have gotten here any quicker if anything might have changed, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Yep. I mean, we, we were outside we were outside of the building when it happened, so and we rushed in. And oh, sure, and if you were so. here even before we were, yeah, I don't... Yeah. Yep. Like, we were here, like, very, very, very quick since we saw it happening. So, sure, sure. And when we came in, he was already with no vitals, I'm afraid. So so maybe he was, you know... I mean, if, if, if he already had... If he already didn't have a pulse by the time that you actually even looked at him, then... Yeah. Uh, yeah, there wasn't anything you could have done. But uh, appreciate you uh, trying anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, did you happen to check him for any identification, anything like that? Uh, I think the deputy checked pockets. I think um, that was just in here. Uh, Miss Elise. Uh, no, 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 the other deputy that was in here. I checked was. His pockets. I was just going to ask if she could confirm oh. that. If you knew. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. All right. Do we? Name okay. anything yet? We don't have anything. I think Miss Elise is going to go ask him if uh, there was All any right. identification. All right. um, it's going to be Bob Bullard. Bob Bullard. Bob. Okay. Did I hear that right? Bob Bullard? Bob Bullard. Oh, pardon me. I keep hearing board. Is that? Bullard. Bullard. B O L L A R D. Yeah, got it. Oh, all right. Right here, Mr. Moody, could you do me a favor? Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. Uh, no worries. Yes, of course, I want, you to, 
head on inside. I need you to take a quick look over him. We want, obviously, cause of death may be obvious, but we just want to confirm it. Essentially, we just yep. want to have notes for the file. So if it's multiple gunshot wounds, we'll that down. Sure. I'll be in there with you. I'll walk you through it. Okay. Radio. Just got to. I'm gonna go ahead and check the actual wounds to look for cause of death. To, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got a, I think I got an even dozen uh, gunshot wounds all to the upper torso, neck, and face. Understood. Well, if it's, if it's any consolation to any of his family, I'd, he'd have died pretty quickly. If not instantaneously. <clears throat> Man, fellow permit. Okay. Welcome in to anybody that is here. It's just getting here. People that have been here. So, considering the fact there are no kin listed on file, the next, step, the next step is we are going to take him round back. The local monitor will be waiting for us by one of the tents where we will okay. hand over the remains. Alright. They will prepare him for internment. Alright, fella. Alright, here we go. I'll show you where. Okay. Back in a moment. That's well, sir. Right here. The locomotion can take it from here with the fellow. Sure. We've no next of kin listed on file, but just in case the deputies are requesting an autopsy, we don't quite know the context behind the situation, but for the time being, they'll tidy him up. Preparing for the roads graveyard. Speed, Mr. Bollard. <coughs> if you could take him from for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've used a uh, mirror to try and check the dressings. Uh, nothing's bled through. Looks like it's been stable. Uh, we got a note here from Transit. I will let her know where we are. I'll be so, back in a minute. Claire Cassidy, if you didn't see it already. Yeah, I'll let them know. Okay. Damn, yeah, he did get you good. <laughs> Red jackets. Yeah, you um, Blanche did good work, but um, I, <coughs> I took it down to kind of get a look at the uh, incision, and I uh, was pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hell. 
I guess her tailoring does come in handy. How I haven't seen stitches this guy. I mean, honestly, it's I mean a lot of practice before you know coming over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. whatever happened to you? You uh, scared Rain pretty good. She said she's not going to take anybody up to Roanoke for a while. I'm going to go back out there at some point. <laughs> There's Cougar. It's, uh, you got your name on it. I mean, she, she got it. Well, I mean... Just after just... it was no longer on my neck. Mm. All right, I'm going to take a look at your back just to oh, make sure. Hang on, let me uh, adjust this. Item Ziegler. Oh, Ziegler with a cougar attack. Jeez. A new incident? Oh, boy. <coughs> hey, they rolled back through about five minutes ago and headed towards, like, St. Denis. Caliga Hall, St. Denis, so. No, I didn't. Let's see here. Have our escort. You're right, Mr. Murder. Yeah, I'm fine. Waiting to tell Mason that I broke his streak. <laughs> of being Lord Admiral, or...? Nope, being the uh, quote-unquote lucky one, or unlucky one, I suppose, depending on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. of, uh, of discovering that uh, Focus died. It's just part of the... <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. The way I see it, and the way that my wife sort of always lived by mm. it, was, um... Mm. Well, you can't really just let it get to you, because, well, we still got lives, and, uh, I mean, of course you gotta be, uh, careful around next of kin and, and friends and so forth, but, uh, if you and I let every death that happens get to us well we uh, we won't be doing all that well no we wouldn't be no we wouldn't be 
There are some people who the deaths will hit fairly hard. There are others who oh, the course. deaths won't, which I find myself often in the latter category. Well, and I mean, nobody know nobody really knows who this fellow was, as far as I know. So, at least mm. not of the folk here. So, no next of kin, no record, nope. nothing. I mean, it's still a sad thing, and I hope whoever shot him, uh, I hope he finds justice. But uh, you know, <sighs> nothing we can yeah. really do on it, I suppose, except for maybe. Uh, some sort of autopsy and let the uh, deputies know what we find, but I mean, 12 oh, shots is 12 shots. Yeah, there's there's not really much to find at the moment. If they no, requested really. an autopsy, really. I would say, why? What are you, what are you looking for? Don't just, right. you know, what are we looking was, for? What's the hypothesis? I was more slightly um, worried, because when I walked in, uh, you see the fellow that was just looking around with the, uh, the binoculars? Sheriff Manius over there? Mm. Yeah. He's yeah. got a uh, similar mustache, slightly similar hairdo, so I walked in and immediately thought, oh, it's the fellow that's been shot, Sheriff Manius. Mm. Which, thank goodness it's not, but still, mm. that that was a little interesting, considering I just took two bullets out of his back last week. Mm. But, I mean, dangerous line of work and all. No, it is. <clears throat> I often say, what? I start to learn people by their injuries, not their names. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, yeah, people is people, so. People do indeed people. Why is that little thing ringing? <laughs> That's a good question. Nothing. That's all right. Indeed. Um, Miss Cassidy, is it? Yes, darling. How can I help? I'm just introducing myself. I don't know that I've met you yet. I'm uh, Nurse Robert Moody, uh, newish with the uh, department. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. But yes, I'm Miss Claire Cassidy. Oh, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Pleasure. I'm glad. <laughs> I was about to make a comment about being worried it might start getting dusty in here, but mm. they seem to be aware. Would you like to stick with that stagecoach? Would you like me to gather man? Ah, we'll stick with this one. Nice and easy for us. No. Plus, I think we do some insane corners with it. Good lord. <laughs> Travel safe, you lot be good. You do. Don't be shocked. Don't Usual, Miss Zoe. Bless them. Oh, she's taking statements. Maybe they're going to go deal with those, uh, what'd you call them? Red jackets? Mm, potentially. Mm. It could be in out that way. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The only problem is with a lot of information that was in the moment you've already heard it, it's old news. Useful to have, don't get me wrong, it's incredibly useful to have, because at least now you have a timeline, but, you know, for example, I was told Red Jackets are around out east, say, 30 minutes ago. Well, they could now be in New Austin. Which, you know, ideally, they would know that, but at the same time, then by the time the information gets to us, it'll already be old news and rinse and repeat. It's a cycle, but it's a useful cycle because then we can keep track of things. Hmm, yeah, we got a present coming in. Oh, yes, we do. Radio. That's a yellow pants. That's Silas. Yes. Mm, it, Silas generally ain't around on Tuesdays, no. is he? Uh, what do we have no, that's definitely not Radio. Silas. Bucked and kicked by a horse. 
No, oh, very there good. was two horses. Two horses. Oh, two I horses. One horse. One horse ran into me while I was standing there. Mm hmm. And then another horse. You, uh, oh, horse you should be good. Huh? If you know it's riding a horse. And I, you know what to do. I don't know what happened. Alrighty, I'm just gonna be getting looked at it. Maybe we can get into one of the dogs. I Mrs. Moody, could you take care of the cuts on the face? Just give it a nice bit of a clean off. Yep, absolutely, Thank absolutely. Miss, what's your name, if you don't be asking? I'm Fletcher. Uh, Mac. Nice to meet you, Mac. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Are you comfortable with me just having a little gander, making sure that the bruising just here isn't indicative of something worse? Yeah, of course. All right. Now I'm going to do my best to make sure this doesn't sting. And I'll be real gentle, okay? Can I say, I love the color palette as well. <gasps> Thank you. I'm a clothing designer. I feel like there's someone we need you to meet. <laughs> almost oh. a little... Almost, mm. uh... I think that would be either a wonderful idea or... Well, well, we'll just leave it at that, Dr. Fletcher. <laughs> we have, we, we've got someone who wears wonderful colors, very similar to yourself. Yeah. And yep. makes it look good, like yourself. Oh. All right. Yeah, I've gotten a few customers already. All right, there we go. There's a little cheeky break just here, potentially, but might just might just need to set your arm in a sling, Max. A sling? Mm. Oh, hey, right. hey, hey, it'll help facilitate the healing. But I can't, can't do what I want to do. Yeah, Max, Max, I know, trust me, I know, but think of it like this. If you let it, if you can't do what you want to do for the next few days, you're still going to be able to, to do what you want to do for the rest of your life. But if you keep doing what you want to do at the moment, you might not be able to do it for the rest of your life. That's decent you advice, what I mean? actually. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Nice little tune there. What, what is it? Oh, it's a little bit. It's an old song I heard in one of the places out east. Where oh. did we come from? That does sound really nice. Lovely little one. Now, you've got your arms set up here. I'm going to leave Mr. Moody to get you all sorted the rest of the way. As I poke my head in, make sure all is well. If you need anything, or either of you need anything, you just give me a shout, all right? All right. Splendid. Adio. Thank you, Doctor. Fletcher. Fletcher. Happy to. All right. 
So you seem to be doing all right. Just some bruising in the minor cuts on your face. And then there was that uh, sling, obviously, but... Yeah. Anywhere else it hurts? Other than my pride. No. <laughs> of course. All right. On a scale of... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I can help you up. I don't know if I can mm. get up easy with this thing. Short on three, okay? One, okay. two, three. Two, three. Uh, there you are. Uh, thank you. Of course. You doing okay? Need anything for the pain? Anything like that? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It hurts really bad. I definitely need whatever you want to give me. Well, on a scale of a uh, one to ten, where oh. ten would be uh, falling off of a mountain and uh, hitting your face on a rock on the way down, oh. where where do you think you you might be? About a six. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. We're gonna give you probably a couple aspirin. Well, we don't want to give you anything okay. too 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 major. We don't need to inject you, make any more holes in you. Uh, yeah, we 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 don't need that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me grab those for you. All right, thank you. Funny enough, we were about to before we had Archibald's come. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll I'll give you the old filling in in a moment. I'm just gonna make sure I get it in. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, Doctor. How are you? I'm doing all right. No complaint. Uh, Fletcher, I'm gonna give her uh, some aspirin just for the aches. Right here. Splint. I mean, I don't know where Isaac is, but you know, if I want to find him at least. All oh, right, Miss. You got Miss? That info for me. Yes, I do. Here you are. Thank you. Of I course. appreciate it. Just take one mm, about every eight hours until you're out. All right. All right. We'll do. I will start now. Okay. And you may want to at least drink some water with it, if not, eat something too. Of course. What is it? You be safe. Thank you, you too. <laughs> if you can. Was that them? Hello, poet. Hello, ginger. We uh, just declared somebody dead for the first time ever. A little bit ago, Mr. Bob Bollard. Sad thing. And then we helped the lady who got bucked off of a horse. Now I'm wondering where people have gone. Uh, Dr. Fletcher, Mason, say anything about where they were going? Oh, uh, Mason is treating a patient in the tents behind us, and I believe Fletcher is just having a conversation. He's oh, very good. Coming. Very good. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything late. No, it's just a. I don't know if you call it a, a nightmare, a fear, or anything like that, but uh, 
looking up from a patient or paperwork and suddenly realizing you're the only person in the office and you have no idea where everybody else went. <laughs> That's fair, yes. You're not gonna happen Mm. Uh, well, hopefully this evening won't be too wild. Yeah, we'll see. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we behave ourselves. Sometimes, yeah, things happen. Well, when we were in Strawberry, uh, Fletcher was practically singing the cue word that Connor's a little superstitious over. I, though I, I don't know if it was to make Connor do his little dance and quack or or not, but. <clears throat> so if we're avoiding um, if we're avoiding a certain word it's too late Dr. Fletcher's already said it six or seven times <laughs> oh you, you didn't dare say the W word though last time somebody said that was yesterday and then uh, we ended up with multiple downs well I don't know which W word that would be but uh, I'm not um, well Obviously, I don't want you to say it, but... Yeah, no, I'm not even going to mention it around Fletcher, because... All right. We're going to say it. <laughs> yeah, he it's seems like Mark to be the, said it yesterday. He seems to be the, the type that uh, isn't too worried about things. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm not sure where they went, Terry. I'll back it. I believe they are, anyway. <laughs> Patient brought in special delivery by Bella. <laughs> Dr. Bella or Nish Moody, um, Freddie, I don't know if you want to take it over. Uh, just weird symptoms. I don't know what to really look for, so I'm going to come on to people who might know better. Okay, thank you. Yep, no uh, problem. Go and have a seat, we'll look. Thank you. Uh, what kind of symptoms are you talking about? Um, yesterday I collapsed at some point between leaving the Saint Denis telegram office and waking up in a house in Roanoke. I don't know what happened, mm? and I don't remember how I got there. Hmm. Have you had any recent head injuries? That's very strange. No. Okay. Have you been under a lot of stress recently? More so than normal? Um, yeah, I, I suppose so. Okay. Anything particular more stressful yesterday happened? I don't remember. That's okay, it's okay. Um, okay. Just check a couple of things real quick. Yeah, of course. Bill should back up a hair. <laughs> with where that <laughs> that clipboard is We're just looking at these things. 
things. Okay. It's okay if I take a look to make sure I don't see an injury that maybe you, you didn't notice, just like I wrote down. Yeah, of course. Maybe while I'm looking, you can just kind of run me through your day. How it started. That seems wrong. And then we'll um, talk about how what picked up afterwards. I don't know. I mean, I I've just been trying to do jobs. Guns. Uh, not very much at all, other than how to point and shoot them. Mm, all right. And even then, I'm uh, not exactly an expert in that regard much. I need Fletcher. Best person of mine to send the speak about that explode. He understands guns real well, from what I can tell. <clears throat> uh, Dr. McNamara? Mm -hmm. This is going to be an interesting question. Um, when it comes to certificates of death, should they generally match the uh, the date and time of the actual uh, case file? Um, I ideally. Um, it's something where sometimes, I mean, you'll, you'll check your pocket watch and it'll just saying I normally I just run to the nearest uh, uh, five minutes okay I'm more asking because uh, I think Dr. Glitcher may have rushed through this and I don't know where he went to but uh, oh, he's, he's out back the, the, the date and time on, on the actual case file is 9.45 p.m. and the time of death is 4.40 p.m. which uh, I find that a little unlikely considering the, uh, the tip that we got wasn't earlier than 9.30 Maybe I'll uh, just... I think the handwriting's just a little off. So yeah, if it was um, you know nine, um, so in this case that could be just the, the discrepancy being um, five minutes of you know, estimating that it, it probably passed about five minutes before inspection, right. um, and then the um, I think it's just handwriting that, that that four should look like a nine. I think it just okay. looks a little okay. open at the top. That uh, made, that makes sense. Just struck me as a little odd. No, good, good catch. Um, rather than just getting logged as me editing something he's already signed off on, we can just mention uh, that to him. He can get that adjusted. Yep, can do. Is he still back there? I can go talk to him about uh, it. Yeah, quick. he was talking to, uh, to people I don't know. All right. I'll be right back. So essentially we're going to have someone who comes in probably with an infection soon, because... Tall trees? Aurora Basin? Because that's the place where we've been notified that they like to base themselves up. Bloody cold. How about... Um, hold on. Where they grabbed you? Was it the cabin where you can buy fishing supplies? Or was it the cabin overlooking the basin? There were huts. Right, so west side of Aurora Basin. Yeah, that's confirmed a lot of theories. Right, okay. All right, you two, how are you feeling right now? Like, What are they talking like, about? There's nothing you could do. You did what you need to do in the situation. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble with us. I respectfully, I'm sure we can the lovely and wonderful charming deputy. We definitely need a checkup. Can also agree. You're not in trouble with law because they <laughs> forced you to perform. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're the ones who got trees did. Alex. Oh. 
interesting. So where was their medic? Because Cecily normally handles their medical shit. Hmm. Well, that's the one I've just mentioned. Because they kidnapped me once and performed it, and I had a good chuckle because the fellow gets, is very gruff with me, and I tell him quite politely, I say, you know, with all due respect. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Maybe Winnie or Alice was the medic, is why they can't do mm. nothing. I uh, know, Alice. I think it was Alice that's the one who does medical. Right, but you yeah, two. Yeah, she, she was unconscious. Yeah. So. They don't. Oh my god, do they not get it? They don't get it. Right. This is interesting, only hearing half of his conversation. That's not. Uh, I think he's talking about Kettleman. Maybe I need to put that in Or Mills. Paper. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Because I heard the word. I heard the name I Alice. The paper. Though I'll need to get them something sweet to make sure that gets in there. Right. But you two, if you need me. Well, actually, you three. If you need me, give me a shout. Otherwise, I need to take a look at the tip line, make sure no one else is bleeding. Rich, just remember, you did nothing wrong. If one of them dies of an infection, good riddance. <laughs> okay. If one of them dies of an infection, I'll good riddance. <laughs> because if I'm seeing them, they're probably in a sheriff's office about this. <coughs> what a dude. Yeah, it's all right. Did what you could. Right. Right. Yeah, it's all right. You too. All right. Okay. You're good. You're fine. Don't worry. Dr. Fletcher. Yes, Mr. Lady? Um, the, uh, just, uh, you might want to take a look at the, um, date and time mm -hmm. on the death certificate. Uh, it looked like right. maybe you had, uh, went to write a nine and wrote a four instead. Oh, shit, have I written it? Where is it? Where is it? Wrote a nine, wrote a four instead. Ah, shit, yeah, I see it. Yep, I was uh, just Thank asking you. Dr. McNamara about it. He said since you're still here and it's down off on it already, we might as well just get you to close the uh, the four so it actually looked like a nine. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right, hold on one moment. It was... Right. Okay. Almost there. Not real important. Just Steady. want to make sure all the ducks are in the line. Oh no! It it is it is it is very useful information to make sure we have in order. As we like to say, we like to have our house in order. And I would rather not have that moment of oh well, the deficit was wrong. Right there we are. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. That is good. Righty. Oh, let's go make sure no one's close. Nothing clear. Mm, very good. There's a uh, deputy with some fragments in his eye that Mason's going to go coerce into being treated. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's a dead boy with in his eye that needs to be coerced into being treated. Mm, apparently, he so thought we were busy, fella? so he's just been next door. I'm going to go slap him. <laughs> um, so, it sounded like the two people that were here when we first got here, or one of them at least, was a field medic. Um, and... Probably the Mills gang, just guessing off of names that was mentioned, um, grabbed them to um, do some light surgery on Alice, who is one of their members that actually normally does medical treatment. So his, like, his comment was, if they're in here because of infection, it's clearly because they're stupid and didn't come to us to actually get, like, treated for real. So if they die, good riddance. Um, get rewards for gritting your teeth and bearing with it when you're in bloody town and safe and sound. 
I think that I, that's what I think he said. But yes, again, I really only heard his know, side. Where we, two of our field medics were kidnapped by Mills's gang to perform. Uh, yep, that was what work, I thought. Including tending to an arterial bleed. Mm -hmm. They tried to tell oh, them boy. that we don't teach them how to stitch. But they quite literally held guns to their heads and says, we don't care, you to do it anyway. So they just wanted to make sure that basically they wanted to let us know. To say, hey, done it. Like we, we were forced to. And I said, you are not in trouble. You tried to tell them you can't do it. They didn't listen. As far as I'm concerned, you get someone coming in with an infection and someone who's internal bleeding. Yep. That's so that's exactly fault. what I thought. Not yeah. yours. He your had fault. said. Are they okay? I mean, the, the, not, not, yeah. not the patient, but the... Uh, the, 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 the field medics. <laughs> yeah. Not the patient. Who, those who are deeply hopeful <laughs> at the moment, they, you know, they, they swing by and chin my every so often. Would I know him? Or who, uh, I, Dahlia I, Clark and Elliot. Last name's escaping. I think it's Cahill. Hmm. No, I, I guess I haven't run into him. I okay. you think you met Elliot. Yep, okay. Elliot's Elliot's got uh, he's got a name carved into his chest, I think. Huh. I know the name. Uh, I confirmed it. I looked him over, put it on his uh, citizen file for him. So, do we know where that happened? Um, he said uh, the uh, ruins of his old family house. Some folks uh, oh. killed his father, whipped him a bunch, carved his father's name into his chest. Okay, I guess unrelated. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know much about it. A ranger that got picked up in uh, Roanoke that, that had uh, mm -hmm. some unfortunate carvings a while back. Hmm. Good day. Don't we have a note about some upcoming surgery? Maybe about some lady that had a, a brand or a carving or something. Yeah, she has not uh, responded. Oh, I see. Timing. Are you creeping around the office just saying dirty you still here? I'll I'll be back. I heard that there was a, a surgery tomorrow. Uh, is any assistance required for transportation? That is a good question. Let me look. Uh, Dr. Connor might actually know offhand, but... Uh, might know what? If there's any uh, transportation assistance required for the surgery tomorrow. Um, actually, I don't want to interrupt. I, uh, that, do you want just me to let him know we yeah. all... Yeah, I think that looks like Thank maybe you. be a fractured leg scheduled for tomorrow at five. Uh, uh, you pray. Could I just, just for a moment? Apologies about that. Obviously, just we try to keep certain information confidential. Nope. Yep. Uh, understood. Ten rows. I was uh, being quite no, so loud. No, nope. my apologies. No, perfectly all right. Perfectly all right. That's why I did my uh, world oh, course. famous. <coughs> um, you probably would know then, though. Uh, Miss Cassidy here was uh, wondering whether we would need any assistance for the uh, surgery tomorrow for transportation. Currently, the patient is located in Valentine. However. If you just wanted to have an easy shift, Miss Cassidy, we could have you in the office front front area, as it were, because Mr. Vanivar, I do believe, is going to be has offered to take it. I'm likely going to be present either as a second or man in the front room, but it's, it'll be a boring one. So if you're, uh, it's not going to be too uh, too thrilling, as it were. But, although the patient does have quite a reputation amongst Valentine's, so. Uh, Prepare yourself for probably a lot of well wishes outside. And what time is that surgery at? It is. Looks like 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Eastern. I will endeavour to be around, but I will not make any promises. No need. It shouldn't. It's. Oh, that Maggie. It's going to be interesting. The patient is 90 years old. So. Oh, Lord. Ideally, if she's conscious, we're going to ask her whether or not she would like the surgery in general. Obviously, if this was a healthy 20, 30, 40 something, it would be a bit of a different story. But at that age, I. Yeah, um. Killer. Is it a hip? I, guess, it, I, I just saw a leg fracture. It's a leg. 
it's the leg, luckily. Um, yeah. Um, I have many thoughts, but um, <laughs> them, please, good lord. Depends a little bit on the fracture pattern, um, which since we don't have an X-ray, it's really going to come down to um, intraoperative findings. If it's grossly unstable, um, depends kind of where in the leg the fracture is located. Um, if it's more, you know, uh, upper uh, femur, kind of towards the femoral head or neck, you really want to try and make sure that That's is true. something where it can be worth going in to try and stabilize it, um, because they're really going to just end up bed bound if you can't. If it's lower, then you can kind of potentially do something where, I mean, maybe they can ambulate with crutches, you can cast it, um, or uh, at least if it's lower, you can, you know, get a tourniquet in place to um, deal with kind of the blood flow and then, you know, pray they make it under, uh, you know, through the ether. But the, um, you can have a higher rate of blood loss and, um, I mean, you can end up with some concerns from the anesthesia, so it's worth weighing the risk, at, at, you know, especially in the 90s. Right, yeah. I'll make sure she's fully aware as we go into it, because for all we know, she might even say, to give you all a bit of insight, she lost her husband recently, so mm -hmm. it might be a situation yeah, it's of... Not a, not a great Archie. combination. No, it's not. It's causing me a little bit of concern. Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit. This is chat. Way to put it to <sighs> She was the Queen of Hearts in Alice. Oh. Mm. Played a brilliant part mm. during the performances in December and January. Oh, pardon me. I think she was there for December. I'm not sure if she was there for the second one. I can't remember. I think she mm. may have been, or. I they heard good things. Like they sold out quick, right? Oh, they did. Good lord. I remember. I remember still. Alice lived a very boring life. Actually, I don't think that was a line. I'm just trying, I just wanted you to do the voice again. It's been a while. It's been a while. Good Lord. Were Which you in this, this uh, play or whatever it is? I was indeed, Mr. Moody. I was the narrator. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. You have a, you've a good voice for it. Thank you very much. If I may say so. You may say so. You may also <laughs> kiss my fingers. That was a joke, Mr. Moody. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, poor It would be the first thing I would think about when I'm thinking about a narrator. You think about me? You think Just authority me? and narrator. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have a perfect mm -hmm. narration voice. Oh, Connor, stop it. You're going to make me blush. Keep going. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I think that was, that was probably it. I'll, 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 I'll work up some more later. Oh, yes, please do. May I point out, Dr. Fletcher, you are wearing gloves, so I wouldn't know which fingers your rings were on anyway. Ooh. I'm leaving it as a mystery for myself <laughs> as well. One day I'll take oh. the gloves off and they'll be a ring there. One day. I would just happen to do with a certain person. Right. We'll see. Oh, best of luck. Mm, I'll need it. We could, uh... Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't haven't been there, but uh, you know we could surround her with the old, you know, medic formation. <laughs> That's true. The council has spoken. We we could rein her in. It's just the council has spoken. You're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> the council has spoken. It's a shotgun oh. wedding. All of the medical departments here. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, Doctor Fletcher, don't you usually conduct those? We have to get somebody do, else so. to to do it. <laughs> we could get Bella to do it. That would be very good. Oh god. <laughs> no, she wouldn't like that. She wants it nice and organized. Well, well you can ask her. I need help. You need help? I, well, I mean, I need... Who who knows how to make the, the Valerian with tea and, and, and things? Oh, um, I... I um, Margo taught me. Um, I, I actually use it for myself. Perfect. Okay. Would you be able to prepare that and then... Um, of course. Um, explain to him, because I'm not terribly familiar with it, and I would rather have somebody who understands it very well talk to him about it. Mm. 
No, good lord, that would be her worst nightmare shotgun wedding. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gee, I've, I've already got the comment of all my friends keep getting married just impromptu. And I, I can't help but grin because I've officiated basically all of the last <laughs> few months. Does she know this? Mm, she does. Mm. I keep telling her. Oh, good lord. She does. Oh, hold on. I've got a telegram here. So there's a fellow called uh, Marty who, who's often on the Kerrigan Ranch, right? No. He flirts with... He him knows Ivy. And I kept on giving him grief that he never he hadn't sent me a telegram. I never expected him to. And then I received this telegram about five minutes after I gave him grief the last time. Hmm. Yeah. Come. Yeah. 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 All right. So. <clears throat> Actually, we'll, we'll wait until the patient's out because I think they'll all want to get a kick out of this. <laughs> Ooh. Mr. Moody. Oh, yeah. Seems like we may be heading out. You want to hmm. come with me? Or do you want to stay here? Yeah, I can come with you. Right here. Just to let you know, Mr. Mr. Foster, your friends asked me to let you know that they are tired for the night. It was Mr. Erebus who passed along. Miss Cassidy, you up for a short ride? Sure. Radio, St. Denis. Uh. Would you like to take the reins, or would you like me to? I'd be happy to. Right, as in, you, you're happy to take... Oh, yeah, you're happy to take... Happy. It's something to do, right? Finally something I'm good at. <laughs> Patient currently requested uh, medical... I believe it was Deputy Beaumont. Yep, there was a name on the tip. A future love. Reckon I remember your voice echoing around the campfire that first day at the ranch barbecue. It filled me with a feeling I'm right scared to share with others. Like a tingling in my chest and an extra beat in my heart, like my heart been less of a wild stallion. Deep down I, I know how much I know you know how much hey, I turning feel you. It's clearer than a moonlit night that my heart... I have news for you on the training point. Dear and love. But Fletch Friends is reading at the moment. With a goofy grin. I guess you could say I'm dearly in love with you. And there ain't no book in it. That day, I passed <laughs> you with the wolves. Saw the sweat dripping off your brow. I knew yeah, we have... You right there. We have people who will move their schedule or can be on during Australian time. If, if training is the only thing holding you up from being interested in med RP. You're the cowboy who rides through my dreams. The one who makes my heart race like a wild And that's that technically comes down from a staff member in the medical department. So yours always. Marty. And it was to you? Yep. That's remarkably interesting. Mm. Took me something fierce. And he said, are you going to tell anyone? And I said, yeah. Of course <laughs> I will tell everyone I can. Exactly. <laughs> it was beautifully written. I was like, yeah, this is funny. It was very nicely written. It was very nicely written. But yeah, Trinium, if, uh, if you want to apply for it, um, I'll you want to look into it, anything like that? Office. Seriously, do look into the field certification. When you get out of that, I will meet you um, there. Look into at least the field certification, that way you can actually figure out even if MedRP is something you want to do. But if, if training is an issue, um, we can make that happen. Yeah, yeah, for of sure. And I mean, side. you're on the right side to go the other way. I'm sorry, Miss Cassidy. I was, I was, I was thinking about something. What did you say? No, you're all right. I'm bringing you up here. Okay, okay. I almost wish they hadn't. Are, darling. I almost wish they hadn't taken them here. There's not much supplies here at the moment. Mm -hmm.
Mm. There's. Mm, I, I wonder if he's at the. Like he might be at the. Leftovers. Hello? Anybody in there? Hello, yes. Is that a medic outside? Yes, it is. Perfect. So he got a gunshot wound. Me. Howdy. Hello. How long you been deputy for? Uh, well, I've I've never been a deputy. Oh no oh. no no no! I mean him, not the doctor. <laughs> well, nurse actually, but that's all right. Uh, there, okay. The gentleman sitting down here, the one that's been shot. That's true. Well, this it's more of a it's more of Howdy. a bruised ego, to be honest. You know, my honor is bruised and damaged beyond repair. Who is this here? Well, we can put a nice little bandage with a bow on it if you like. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that works. Where, where is the uh, the gunshot, my friend? My left arm. I'm gonna make sure we don't have any walking wounded, Mr. Moody. Yes, sir. Tables, we gotta respond to a call. If uh, you're good to stay on duty, try to meet up with us if we need you later, okay? Yeah, stay safe. Don't die. <laughs> I like this guy. Hello. Yeah, absolutely. We we always would love to have more people. And um, ha I mean, somebody that's on Australian time already who wants to do it, fantastic. Good on you. Listen, nurse is embarrassing, right? It's all right. I had to. Had to uh, I, got, I, got, I got shot so fast. It's not you, funny, right? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Well, who shot you? Do you have any mm -hmm. medicine to fix a bruised ego? Uh, well, you could ask. Uh, well, I'm not going to go there. Uh, or just drink, drink, drink liquor to fix it. I suppose you could try that. That might help Mr. you forget Moody. it at least. Uh, yes, sir. Are you comfortable to be left here alone? Urgent request Valentine for a, a DOA. Uh, yep, I could be. And then uh, make my I'm way back leave. up to Rhodes or wherever. Yeah, meet up with the others in Rhodes. I'll try and meet up with the rest of you when all is done. I'm going to say, tell Miss Cassidy to stay here with you, all right? All right. Right here. I'm knocking right. the door, by the way. Yep. So did, uh, did you get grazed or actually shot? I got shot. Very good. Uh, let me just uh, flush the wound here. Uh, we're going to see that. The actual depth of your injuries. <laughs> it's a flesh wound. Well, doesn't seem all that deep, which would be nice. Uh, we're just going to clean it out here and then uh, see whether it even needs any stitches. So he said Hopefully a flesh not. wound. Well, doesn't seem too bad. Uh, not, not particularly dirty. Uh, there's no, no bullet in here. It's too, too shallow for that. Uh, don't even think you need stitches. Uh, are you, you hoping to be, uh, be back uh, on duty as soon as this is uh, taken care of? Oh, maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, it's all too many deputies right. around right now, so. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. I might need to save the, save the county one more time, save the state. <laughs> like the hero I am. Oh, of course, of course, and we uh, thank you for it, deputy. And I thank you for your service. Of course. Uh, what was your name again, sir? I'm Pebbles, like the small rocks. Oh, very nice to meet you, deputy Pebbles. My name is. Uh, Nurse Robert Moody. Been with the uh, St. Cross Department of Health for maybe a week and a half now. Oh, well, that's fantastic, Mr. Moody. I just came back from my vacation, so. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, I nice took, to meet I you, took sir. One of those, I took one of those steamboats back to my home country. Oh, it I see. Very, and, uh, mm -hmm. It takes a very long time to, you know, cross the Atlantic. Very, very long time. Where are you, where are you from, sir, originally? I'm from Scandinavia. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, very nice over there. 
very peaceful. I'm sure a welcome change from here. All right, sir. Yeah, it definitely is. You're all good as far as I'm concerned. I don't even think we need to necessarily give you any pain medication. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nurse. means a lot. Of course, d Deputy. I will not forget this, all right? No. I wouldn't ask you to. <laughs> God. This is embarrassing. you got to go back out to the street. All right. Well, you stay safe now, Mr. Moody. You as well, sir. Lock that back up. Check the tip line. In regards to a dead body, that's super. Barely anything. The man's pride was more wounded than anything else. Uh, we can no. head back to uh, Rhodes, I think. No. Rhodes, yes. <clears throat> yep, didn't even need stitches. Just a graze. But and he was freshly back from vacation, too. He seemed a bit more embarrassed than anything else. Better seen by a <laughs> doctor, anyways. Better safe than sorry. Yes, I agree. I agree. Good night, poet. Thanks for being here. There's that fellow with the trumpet again. Indeed. So how long you been with the Transit Authority, Miss uh, Miss Cassidy? Uh, nine a month. Not very right. long at all. all right. No. Longer than I've been with the Department of Health. Uh, and I feel welcome aboard. Thank you. It's uh, been a wonderful place to be. It's very, very delightful people all know. I certainly agree with that. I do. I'm happy to spend my days sitting on the rail of the uh, medical office, watching over them or listening to the sordid tales that Fletcher spills. He does have quite a few, doesn't he? He does indeed. They bring me much to laugh. <laughs> my sister is also a medic, so... Oh, would that be Miss Tess? Yes, that's my twin. Oh, very nice. I have yet to officially meet her, but I've seen her name on paperwork. She is a delight. She typically works much later, though. Yes, I, I think I had noticed that. Excuse us, sir. Uh, medical. Coming through. Yep, there's a few I have yet to meet. Um... Let's see, uh, Dr. McConnell. Um, I haven't seen uh, Bertie White since I first got to the crossing, which was some time ago. Um, I'm sure there's other medical staff, too, that I don't know. Uh, I've only seen Veronica uh, the once. Uh, but then again, I mean, this is the first time I met you, and I've, I've only seen Mr. Flood maybe twice, and... Uh, Probably the same for uh, Constance, and I've only met, uh, is it, I think his name is Ken. I've only met him once as well. Yes. Uh, you'll be seeing us more once our tip line gets all sorted. I'll be looking forward to it. It'll make it much easier for us to locate Charles. Sure, sure. Have you met the uh, nurse Blanche? Uh, yes, I have. A couple of times. She nodded a lot. She is. Uh, she's a very wonderful lady. So we were childhood friends. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Grew up together then. Yes, uh, all of my siblings and her grew up together, so we're Fantastic. all very fond of her. All right, here we are. Well, we shall see if there's actually anybody still here.
Seems that the doctor boy is still the least. there too. Okay, so maybe they went to Valentine? Um, Fletcher, Mason, Bella. Oh, yep, there's Dr. Bella. Uh, Mason, I think, went to Valentine, so it's, I guess, just Dr. Bella and I here at the moment. Understood. Howdy, Doctor. Hello, hello. Uh, tip line was empty from when I just looked at it, but. Oh, perfect, okay. Aside from Emmett and uh, uh, Dr. Fletcher going to Valentine. Uh, sure, I'm going to Thank you, Hanley. Absolutely. Uh, Robert, need a stew? Uh, I'm sure I could take one. Thank you much, Dr. McNamara. Mm -hmm. And for once, I will actually just eat it right away. <laughs> so we now have no law here. Oh, that's a ranger, though. It is nice being able to tell who's who. Freddy Foster. Oh. Is that a counseling? I guess it must be. Hmm. A John Doe. Why? Gutted, littered with arrows, and a tomahawk in his head. Ooh. Hmm. Hey, yo. How are you, Miss Zoe? Yeah. How are you? I'm just going to say hello, that's all. Doing well. Doing well. How are you? Thank you, thank you. I just ran into a very lovely lady called Rudy. And she wants to be a medic. She's buying a horse at the moment. Well, I might tell her to come over here and say hello. Oh, you should. You should. We can uh, get her started on things and so forth. Yeah. I think she's very new to the crossing. Sure, sure. I mean, if she's if just now buying a horse. <laughs> yeah, I always try to help people when they just arrive. Oh, of course, always. Uh, Connor. Hey, Connor. How are you doing? All right, thank you. You. Um, on the mend. Uh, oh, do you have? Growing up uh, yesterday, so. Oh shit. Going a little slow. No. Oh. Worst things have happened though. Yeah, give me a second, Trinium. Um. Does yeah. It said. It always be worse. He. Yes. Um, oh, walked too far away. So, um, just it said he um, fell asleep. Found a, uh, future medic? Um, yeah, he was in San Denis sending a telegram, and while there, he lost time and woke up in the oh, cabin described above, there. which is a house on a hill with a fence in Roanoke. And then when they woke up, there was a body on the floor. With a cut to the neck and blood yeah, all around the body. Day, cut didn't didn't look deep, and they said they don't remember if they recognized them or not. Do not 
would get shot off duty. I mean, um. never get shot, but you know, the streak alive. <laughs> we'll see. But it's a counseling file. Okay, I'm gonna go check my telegram. If she comes by, it's kind of interesting. She's gonna have a leopard upper loose off. Oh. Right, and uh, you said her name was. Tr um, she said Trudy. I'm pretty sure she's, she said Trudy. Trudy. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back anyway. Of course, of course. All right, let's hear the recruitment uh, pitch. What have you got? Well, the recruitment pitch is, is essentially uh, if you want to help the, uh, the folks of the crossing as well as spend time with uh, the best gang there is in the crossing. I say that um, only slightly joking. We are very, very friendly, very nice, etc. Um, you should, uh, of course, apply for the Saints Crossing Department of Health uh, via the telegram number that I will give you when I'm done talking with you because I don't have Sloan Sullivan's uh, telegram number memorized. <laughs> How dare you? You were doing so well. Well, I'm not going to rattle that off. Can you? <laughs> Look, some things need to be delegated, and are necessarily at the top of my mind at any given moment. Uh, well, uh, let me. See. What does it start with? Hang on, I, I can do this. I want to remember it before he does. I think that'll be funny. What is it? Uh, does it start with a V? Hmm. I think there's a V in there. And like a zero. <laughs> it's not really helpful out of, you know, five characters. Uh, there is a V and there is a zero. Okay. Well. All right. Hang on. So there's. Uh, okay. I got. Okay. Where's the V first? I think the V is first. So v. Victory number. I don't remember. Uh, oh, wow. Very nice. Zero three six. Ah. Uh, see, this is why you're you're, you're pretty you're close. Actually, you remember everything. You're ready to go. You're not looking at a clipboard. You just know it. Yep, it's uh, There's in the old on top of all things. <laughs> well done. Oh, oh it's not going to do it. I'm going to go see if I can stare in a given area to see if there's somebody buying a horse. For what it's worth, I actually, I'm I actually. Sure she saw me staring with binoculars. Yeah. For, for what it's worth, I did actually give a young woman a Sloan's telegram number the other day when I was in Strawberry. Oh. Okay. I said she could uh, reach out there, give her name, give her telegram number. Great. Some other things. Oh, that must be her there. Who, um, did uh, do you remember the name of who you talked to before? Unfortunately, I don't. It was, uh, oh, that's fair. I think Mysterious. a blonde woman. Okay. Fine description there. A blonde woman. Might apply to the medical department. Next yeah, well... Week. Considering I, we had a multiple down after yeah. that. No, I think, no, I think, no very <laughs> fair. I'm, I'm just, just being a jerk. I mean, there's there's, there's a part of my head that thinks maybe she looked a little bit like Sawyer or Sarah. Okay. But, yeah, uh, we still need to keep that right That's That's kind of broad anyway. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Oh, Evening. Hello there. Um, a woman named Zoe said I should come and talk to you guys. Yeah, sure. Uh, about what about? Perhaps becoming a medic at some point? Oh, sure. We, uh, we'd be happy to assist you in that. Uh, oh, that'd what, be lovely. Do you have any uh, medical experience or anything like that? It's alright if you don't. Just curious. Uh, I 
have started going to school for a little bit of medical training, but uh, I'm here to get more hands-on sort of training from real doctors. Sure, that's uh, not all that dissimilar from my own story, although most of my training was from my wife. Um, oh, and that's lovely. The, uh, the normal process to uh, to do so actually uh, would involve just uh, becoming friendly with uh, the staff here, which it's, I mean, um, you're... Do you want to come up on the, uh, the porch? Get yeah, the you're welcome oh, up here. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Um, a good way to do it is to sort of meet some of us, get to know us, um, so that we know your name, etc. But uh, then to send a telegram to our uh, deputy deputy director or director? Uh, uh, the, uh, the director. Right. Uh, director uh, uh, Sloan Sullivan. If, if I defer to him a bit, it's because he's my uh, mentor. Um, but my name is Nurse Robert Moody. I've been with the Department of Health... Um, Maybe like a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. I don't, I don't rightly remember now. Oh, do you like it? Um, I like it a lot, actually. Um, significantly more even than I thought I would, and I already thought I would. So, um, oh, it's wonderful. a, it's a great group of people. Um, we all support one another, share knowledge, uh, etc., stuff like that. Um, play games sometimes if uh, things aren't particularly uh, busy. Um, but then when they do get busy, you know, you got a number of people you can rely on and so forth. But, uh, mm. uh, this here is, uh, senior doctor, sorry, junior senior doctor, Connor McNamara. So, um, yeah, just, uh, uh, junior doc senior doctor? That's mostly a, a running joke, uh, uh, senior doctor McNamara. Oh, All um, right. And then, and then this is, uh, senior doctor Bella Trix. Hello there. Hello, hello. Uh, this is a... Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Trudy. Trudy is a prospective uh, potential um, applicant, I guess you would say, to the Saints Crossing Department of Health. Oh, I see. Very good. Very good. Did you already? Uh, did you read the telegram for Sullivan? I did not, but uh, it is. Do uh, you have oh, something to write it again. down? Sure. All right. Now I'm ready. Yep. It is VN zero three six. Um, I, I think most of the info to make sure that's in there is uh, your name, uh, your first and last, um, your telegram number, uh, any experience, especially uh, given that you had started going to school, uh, that might be appropriate. Um, uh, is there anything else that would need to go in there, Dr. Bella or Dr. Connor? Uh, I mean, if you want to, you know, tell them a little bit about yourself, you can, um, but... Uh, they're just more interested at this point to engage your interest. Make sure you do include your telegram, like you say. Understood. Yep. Okay. And, uh, and, and you said that's Dr. Sullivan? Yes, Sloan Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you mind if I ask where you've been uh, kind of starting your training and uh, what got you interested in medicine? Well, back home in Iowa, that's where I started. But uh, mostly I just like, you know, Masters. I know it's going to sound weird, but kind of like looking inside of things that other people don't normally get to see. That one got me started, and then I started helping people, and I just, you know, that feeling I can't escape it. And I really like it, so I kind of want to help people. But I also want to look inside people. <laughs> Is that weird? I'm so sorry. I think it's, it's, it's really fascinating when you're, you're uh, learning to, you know, help people, and, and you know, you're performing surgeries, you get a different perspective than a lot of other people do. Mm. Mm. That's very true. I've seen inside somebody's head, actually, before. That was odd. Really? Specific injuries that you know you can't treat unless you, know, unless you can access it. So you need to know how to do so safely, and uh, then know what you're doing, what's under there, to be able to get it fixed. Honestly, I don't it kind of excites me to be honest with you. <laughs> so wonderful. I honest, this is my this is my second day here. So this is more oh. than I could ever have asked well, well, for. Uh, well, welcome. Yeah, I walked down mm -hmm. from uh, Wapiti down to St. Denis because I didn't realize that they didn't have any, you know, uh, well, anything, much of anything up there, so it's been fun. Yeah, that would be a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. Hard to make it there safe. Some uh, definite predators out there uh, in between uh, there, so. Yeah, I'd be worried be about safe. wolves and such. Oh, yeah. I only traveled during the day and made sure that I kept on the roads. 
Rachel, any um, particular questions for us at all? Uh, not really. I mean, do you guys usually like, uh, I don't know, just excited that the, is there like usual times that are better to be around for these kind of trainings or anything like that? Or is it just a case by case kind of thing? Um, so we have different members of the department that'll be about at uh, given times, but for the most part, we, we always try to make sure that there'll be somebody available when we figure out where a potential uh, trainee would be about. And um, it's kind of an uh, apprenticeship type of thing. We'll do some lectures, and then you're kind of you know, working with the other certified members of the department. Yep. And, and uh, something, something important to learn, uh, which took me a long while. If you do get accepted, um, you can learn from any member. Uh, it doesn't have to be a senior. Just you can shadow us if, as long as uh, somebody's on duty. Lovely. Well, thank you so much. Uh, of course. Can you go find Zoe? Uh, she just bought me a horse, so I feel like I should go find her. Yeah, um, she is uh, fantastic. So. Uh, oh, she's so later. nice. Um, I think she headed down to Telegrams, but I'm not sure if she's still down there. Oh, thank you so much. How did I say, guys? You as well, Miss Trudy. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you off there, Connor. No, no, that was that was uh, important note. It took me a good long while to realize I didn't have to watch for one of you seniors. Oh, yeah, we should make that clear. Um, I think when I first started, I uh, had my conversation with Clyde, and then he handed me off to somebody that was heading off on a call, and that was, that was pretty much it, and then they weren't the seniors, so it was pretty clear for me. But <laughs> Well, when I started... Have the initial conversation and all, and then move forward. Uh, when I started, you know, my, my interview was with you, and then uh, Silas cut me off and, and you know, taught me about the uh, the thing. And uh, mm -hmm. and after that point, it I sort of got bumped back over to you, and then it wasn't real clear from there. But uh, eventually, it, it it started to make sense, Emmett, and yeah. so on. Um, I learned quite a bit actually from Emmett. He is a real workhorse and a fantastic person to learn from. Quite learned, you might say. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, beginning my campaign to badger him to uh, consider applying to Feinberg, but no luck yet. To Feinberg? Mm -hmm. um, something right. Oh, about. is that the? That's the. Um, uh, what was it? The University by Post or something? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so the the Margot method of uh, you know, working on yes. some yes. practical skills here that count for academic credit uh, back east um, something where if that's ever, ever anything you're ever interested in you know, we're always happy to help but uh, we also do need very good nurses so. I don't I was going to say I don't know as I would be interested in necessarily jumping ship from being a nurse over to being a doctor but yeah, and in, in your role I mean, you can still pretty much do anything you're comfortable training with and if there's any you know, additional procedures or anything you'd, you'd like to uh, you know, yeah, sure. learn we're all, always happy to go over them. And it's, uh, it's almost more fun um, being able to uh, do surgeries and stuff with y'all instead of taking the lead on one. At least in my opinion. I think I learned more when I do it that way. I uh, I don't know. Even now, I, I still enjoy the uh, team-based approach. Yep, I agree. I agree. And I think we have too few nurses at the moment anyway. Yeah, yes, so. all, the, all the more nurses, please. So, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. A million nurses forever. No one else. Mm -hmm. Yep. It'd be a great department. Indeed, indeed. All right, I'm going to go and get, uh, go have a seat, wait for this doctor to show up. Uh, a conversation about that. Uh, I may or may not be back on duty tonight, but I'll be on duty tomorrow night and through the weekend. All right, well, uh, hope I will see you this weekend then. Uh, he'll be safe. Alright, well, I am kind of realizing what time it is. I should probably get back to strawberry, so I'll, uh, well, start moseying. We could probably all head that direction. Miss Cassidy, you feel like uh, driving us to strawberry? Sure. Are you sure? I don't need to uh, drag you all out that way if uh, get anything else going on. But I mean, if I'm going to go to sleep, when I go to sleep, it's probably going to be there if there's nothing else going on. So. Okay. Gotcha. 
And there's currently nothing going on here, so. And yes, I checked the tip line before I made that suggestion. Perfect. I can see it. Just got it. Will it be just you two, or is Dr. Bellatrix joining us? Um, she uh, is going to be uh, walking out and, and some other business. So, um, she'll just listen. Be Well, I didn't mean to be back here, but it's fine. I... This is taking a lot of willpower not to try and hang out from the side. But <laughs> I know it would not be smart today. I meant to do that or to sit up next to uh, Miss Cassidy, but oh well. Well, I appreciate the company, but um, well, if, if you to want to readjust, it. we can uh, always do a, uh, a shuffle. Nah, it's all right. So, um, what all did you see up in Roanoke before the, uh, the cougar got you? Um, have you heard of the um, the firefalls? The firefalls? So I don't know. I don't think that, I have. No. I don't know if that's an official name, but it's. Um, but uh, Rain was was calling it. But if you're there, kind of around um, sunrise or sunset, for it's not the entire time, but if when the sun hits the falls at the right angle, it just the mist kind of around it just lights up and it just looks like Ooh. this kind of glowing orange um, waterfall and it is that's very interesting uh, breathtaking um, I can so imagine so very nice to see um, and then uh, I don't know if either of you had um, known or um, if not known then, then heard of uh, uh, Deputy uh, Olya I uh, may have when, heard the name, but I don't. I don't think uh, I know. She no. un un unfortunately passed, um, and um, she's buried on Roanoke. Um, so I see. He showed me where our grave was, and uh, was able to pay my respects, which meant a lot. Um, she was actually the first patient that I treated uh, after oh, I got certified. Um, it was just a little follow-up. She was coming to get some stitches removed, but it was like the first time I I was treating a patient mm -hmm. as as a medic. And, um, was just in the office by myself and I always remember that she was always really kind she looked out for the medical department rangers um, it was a real loss um, so, yeah. the only thing I'd really seen was the paperwork so it was um, nice to be able to like, sure uh, sure say, say goodbye And then also there was a cougar, and uh, I saw that, and right. I shot right. at it, and I missed, and um, that part wasn't ideal. No, I can imagine not. Yeah. But aside from that, um, there was a Viking grave, there was uh, mm -hmm. kind of a neat cave. Um, it's a really nice area, just apparently uh, pretty dangerous. I, mean, I need to... Not be distracted, I guess. Yeah, I'm told there's a whole family of cougars up that way. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I went up once to uh, to deliver something to the lab that's up there, and uh, well, cougar followed me inside, and then got all tangled up in some wires, and to kill it with a knife. To uh, oh god. Yeah, I was not expecting that, but. Um, and uh, it, it wouldn't last still enough for me to cut it free, and I knew if I did that, it would probably come after me anyway. So, just had to get in, get in close and uh, cut its throat, put it out of its misery. Darndest thing, though, I've never seen a cougar indoors. Um, I have seen the mayor of uh, Manisburg. Uh, rip somebody apart in the telegram office. The mayor of um, so, Yeah, there's a cougar family. Um, they generally only have kind of one about patrolling the territory at a given time, but it will come into town, and oh, because Lord. of that, has been dubbed the mayor. And uh, that sometimes will, uh, I think I've I've heard about it getting up into. There's like a little office up on. Um, there's kind of that. I don't actually know what the structure is, but it kind of go, goes across the main road in town. So I think it's gotten up in there. It'll get into the telegram office. Hmm. Um, 
you put one down and another Mara rises from the family. They just, um, they like the area, I guess. <laughs> it's a whole family of Mares. Mm -hmm. but, no, uh, I've, uh, I've not really had any reason to be up towards Hannesburg. I, I used to do a little bit more mining uh, than I, I do now. And uh, I found it was kind of a nice way to uh, vent some frustration and just kind of attack a wall. <laughs> With the pickaxe. Sure, I could see that. Um, they had a pretty good workout, so I think. Did that a bit before uh, outside of some ranch work when I was uh, kind of newer to the crossing. I still head up there every now and again, but um, definitely need to keep an ear out because it's. Uh, yeah, you uh, you do usually hear them before you see them, but uh, it depends on the um, on the animal. Yeah, I saw a panther for the first time a little bit more recently. And, uh, oh, those are sneaky. But if you can get it, if you can get it and you can get it in good quality, it's uh, that's a valuable animal. Yeah, Fletcher was teaching me to hunt. Um, so we uh, were doing some baits out in Cumberland and uh, one wandered in. Sure. <clears throat> I think you can get a whole $80 out of that. Yeah, I... Um, it was a little eye-opening, and it has readjusted my strategy for mining to considering hunting for, uh... <laughs> yeah. Sure. Originally, I was planning on trying to get sure. a larger wagon, but now, uh, I hear there's going to be a furniture store opening up in Blackwater at some point, so... Oh, yeah? I, uh, now I'm hoping to save a little just to get an idea of if something opens up. Or something. Maybe I could, yeah, you know, a little furnishing, uh, figure out where I want to settle in. So, I don't know. We'll see. Sure. I suppose there's no reason not to. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, if you'd stop me in your Telegram so that uh, we can send a little yeah. chicken, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. And uh, I think I'll probably head up to the hotel, so I'll just hop out here too. But um, thank you so much, um, uh, Ms. Cassidy, for uh, of course, I'm happy to be of service. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. That's all right. Okay, all right. Um, I'll hold still for you. Squeeze through. That is Hades. And somebody else, I don't know. probably head off but uh you uh take care and uh see you soon are you going to be uh able to make the uh shenzig on friday uh unfortunately i'm not i'll be at a i will be out of state i uh, understood well uh hope you have a safe trip and, yeah, thank uh, you we'll see you when you get back yep i uh, should be back uh maybe sometime monday but more likely tuesday understood okay well i'll see you next week then sure um Take a walk across the bridge. Where there are some folks just chilling. Hey, it's Deborah Emerson, I think. That's first, so. Howdy, friends. It is, in fact, W.D. Emerson. Oh, of course they went to Rhodes. <laughs> And of course, Fletcher and Mason went to Rhodes. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, when they get there, they can check the, uh, the tip line and it'll let them know where we are, I suppose. <laughs>
short of sending them a uh, a telegram. Do you notice that the deputy down there is a bit surrounded? Yeah, I did. It's uh. I think his name is uh, Emerson, maybe. I, mean, I think I met him once or twice, but uh, I don't, I don't know that I recognize the other three. You uh, thinking anything should happen, or? I'm thinking. I'm glad we showed up. We did on the off chance that something did happen. Oh, that's very true. I don't recognize any of these folks, and that's usually what uh, raises the hair on my neck, I suppose. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, I'm on duty. I'm not doing anything. You can see my, my holster's quite empty. <laughs> not that I'd be dipping into any vigilantism anyway. As long as you know that you are fully prepared to defend yourself should the need arise. Well, if I need to be, yep. I got bandages, syringes, scalpels. I could probably kill a man with any of those. Now, do I want to? Not particularly. But could I? Yeah, I suppose. I can tell Dr. Fletcher before. The person that should be most feared in the crossing is a medic. <laughs> It's the only person around that can keep you alive and make it the most painful possible. That's right. Handsome enough to take your breath away, skilled enough to make sure it goes back in. <laughs> oh, she doesn't seem that bad of a person if she's going to move a horse for the wagon. I don't know. I suppose if he gets forced up on a horse or something and somebody pulls guns and the telegram office is over there, but... Yeah. Well, maybe they're trying to take his badge. Who knows? Strange place to uh, shake a man down, though. No? I suppose prior to us uh, riding up, though, probably wasn't a really bad situation, seeing as how they was, well, alone in town. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't get a good look up at the uh, sheriff's office when we came in. There was no horses there. Oh, I see. Dare yes, say I don't rightly know what the fuck's going on down there. Nope, I have no idea either. <laughs> I don't think we much to worry about unless they force him up on the horse, like I said. Uh, indeed. Well, he's clearly a bit limber. <laughs> Keep an eye, I'm gonna go look at the uh, tip line real quick. Sure. Mm. 
Oh, Owsley's in Blackwood. Blackwater. Nothing much to note, except that uh, Medic Owsley's awake. He's just in Blackwater in his hotel doing some paperwork. I wish we could hear what they were saying down there. I'm curious. I wonder what that's about now. Yep, Owsley's clocked in now. He's just doing things.
Love and care. <laughs> The Little Boys? McKinley, Archie Lane, somebody, Reese Cooper, Wayland, Kirk, Sydney Rifter. Say anything on the tip line? Nope, nothing at all. Not even a movement from uh, Fletcher and uh, Mason? Nope, oh, none whatsoever. I think uh, Mason may have uh, laid his head down or at least clocked off. He's uh, not in the paperwork now. Yeah, understood. I would not be surprised if Fletcher turned up then shortly. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I sort of hope he does. He's the uh, sort that would have no problems walking in the middle of that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Radio. Does any of y'all here needs a checkup? All right, then can I ask you to not loiter near the medic office? <laughs> Something along those lines, except decidedly more uh, British, I think. Day. I'll take them when, when I can get them, you know? It rains up here mm -hmm. an awful lot. Or it seems like it does, I suppose. Maybe it doesn't actually all that much. No, it does rain exponentially. Especially more so than you'd imagine out in the desert. Yeah, uh, I remember some. <laughs> I lived in Tumbleweed uh, some, let's see, now be probably near 20 years ago now. Something along, along those lines. When I was a much younger man. Did a bit of mining back when the mine was still open and doing a lot of business. Do you prefer this over that? Uh, quite a bit, yes. And and I prefer this over pretty much every other job I've tried in between. That's fair. My, well, when I arrived in the crossing, I had some uh, nerve damage in my arm from, uh, well, shortly after that, when living in Tumbleweed, I was out towards Oklahoma and uh, fella uh, deputized me for all of about two and a half minutes uh, to help him deal with a, with a group and I got shot in my arm <clears throat> left me with some nerve damage so that my right hand used to shake awful bad so my wife uh, helped me with uh, a lot of the recovery she was a nurse for quite a long while um uh, she passed maybe six-ish years ago. I don't know. Um, but uh, 
help me learn how to write with my left hand to do most most any sort of thing you need to do that way but um we i did a lot of farm chores and some mining and some other things uh, in between just to sort of build strength back up in that arm and the stuff that didn't need fine motor control you understand and then uh once I got into the crossing, um, I met, uh, she used to be with the Department of Health, uh, Bonnie Gray, I think, uh, was a nerve oh, specialist. Mm -hmm. uh, did a, uh, <clears throat> did a pretty nifty uh, surgery on my right arm, um, cut some of the scar tissue out, uh, addressed some of it, it was actually directly on the nerve, I guess, and, uh, I'll be damned if the thing's not practically good as new. Is uh, everything all right down there? He's fine. Are you just being dramatic, Mr. Emerson? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, you know where we are if you need us, I suppose. Uh, just careful you don't hit your head next time you do that. Okay, thanks. Yep. Listen, if he's going to throw himself on the ground, I'm going to ask about it. No, but I'm deadly with a bow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you from the crossing, Miss Cassidy, or move uh, here at I'm some not. point? Or? My family and I are from Georgia. Oh, very nice. I've only moved here about two months ago. And then joined up with the Transit Authority a month after mm -hmm. that? Yes, sir. Once so, Miss Kazar got me in that with flood. But uh, prior to me coming here, uh, I worked for a stage line out of Chicago. We moved cargo between, uh, and people, between Chicago and San Francisco. Well, people can be cargo sometimes. Yes. I'd prefer not to think of them that way, just like I'd rather not think of them as patients all the time, but they do try your patience, so. That they do. So you're, you're, you've you known how to do some of this? Yes. Stagecoaches are my specialty. Oh, the very bigger good. the team, the easier for me to use it. Oh, really? That's. That sounds a little backwards to me, I would think, but uh, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, when we had to go through the Rockies, the uh, uh -huh. the inclines were very steep, and you needed more than <clears> six <throat> horses or mules sure. at a time to get up over. Otherwise, the wagons would not make the climb. And you specialized in this, then? Yes, either it was uh, in the boxes, the drive, or the uh, shotgun. Fascinating. Transport's not a yep. thing. Transport's not a thing I ever particularly got into or, or did much with. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not once I no, when I moved here, I did get into a little bit of a uh, courier work, but uh, that was simple as taking some things on a horse up to somewhere. Although, it did leave me stuck out in the Grizzlies for a couple hours once. Hardly ideal, let me tell you. So, uh, we did do some work for the Pony Express for a while. Oh yes. Yes. I can I can do things on horseback fairly well as well, but I don't know. The box of a stagecoach is home to me. Seems as though you're quite comfortable there. Yes, sir. Still learning the crossing. There's a lot of places up north I'm not. Uh, confidence in, but I imagine it's only a matter of time. Sure, sure. You learn everything as you go. That you do. Howdy, sir.
I got told once by a lady here in Strawberry that uh, I was quite bold for a medic, but uh, found out after it was because she was uh, banned from the office, I suppose. <laughs> I just asked her what her name was. I didn't know she was banned. And it didn't much bother me then. Still doesn't really now, but... Oh, no, it wouldn't be here in Strawberry. It just uh, it was in Blackwater. That's right. And I just walked up to her and said, I uh, don't know your name. My name is uh, Nurse Robert Moody. Blah, blah, blah. You know. She called me Daring. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you ask someone that name? <laughs> indeed, indeed. I don't know, seems the best policy. Hello, my name is Nurse Moody. I'm with the St. Cross Department of Health. How can I help you today? What is your name, by the way? So, since it's the first it's... thing I gotta put on the paperwork. I mean, that seems fairly, uh. common sense to. Yeah, you would, you would think, you would ask. think. The older I get, the uh, less common I think common sense is. Unfortunately, sir, common sense ain't so common. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hello? Maybe that was the lady on the horseback to them. Oh. Well, I'm going to look at this real quick. <clears throat> Still nothing. This is Insu. Insu, nice to meet you, sir. Kwan. Hello. It's nice to meet the both of you. Do you want to tell them what you told me? Meet you as well. About I was the telling thing about the thing. I was telling Deputy Thoreau here that in Los Angeles we were giving privy to some devices where you can talk between different locations. It's a relatively new device. Oh, you mean like a telegram? We've we've got those, yeah. No, something you can spin to, and somebody on the other end can hear you. You can. You all like, have not heard of. You these. just like talk into it. <laughs> yes, it's. I was told by deputies that they have one in St. Denis. Uh, I, they might if they do. I've not seen it. Interesting. Oh, those Los Angelinos and their fancy technology. <laughs> it gets the job done. I okay. suppose. Does it, does it work? It helps. How does it work? Sometimes. Sometimes it works. Well, sometimes, okay. Well, the telegram at least works all the time. I guess maybe that's why we use it more. But yes. <clears throat> yes, I was told this by deputies that they have something similar to what we use, only in two places inside of the crossing. To which the one was in Saint Denis, and the other one was in Valentine, I believe. Who told you this, by the way? Was that's strange. Why would they? Why would they put something like that in Valentine? Would it would get schmud in it or break or I, something? I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. There's not even a sheriff in there. It was a. Uh, it was Is a there not? I thought there was. Deputy Hooper. Oh. <laughs> that told me about this. Yeah, uh, was how how recently was this? Because the man was probably high off his ass with a fever. Uh, three months ago, I believe. Oh, that 
Well, I mean, he still might have been, but uh, <laughs> I'd have doubted it if it was within a week. But that's a long time ago. Interesting. Actually. Maybe he might have been meaning telegrams, not what we were using. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I don't know. I don't know. So I, what? What? What are you? Are you all deputies as well? Uh, no, sir. I'm a uh, I'm a nurse here with the Saint Cross Department of Health, actually. And uh, Miss oh. Cassidy here to my right is actually uh, an officer with the uh, Transit Authority. Right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet both of you. Uh, you as well, sir. You as well. I am uh, N. Su Kwang, officer ish of the Los Angeles Police Department. I will be oh, transferring into the Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department within the next four days. Very I'm nice, just trying to nice. get a feel of uh, the crossing right now. <clears throat> so that I can Certainly. perform diligently. Well, if you uh, if you see folks with uh, white sashes on, we are... Uh, where did it oh, I see. He's, he's chasing the ladies on the horses. Um, if you see folks wearing the white sashes, we are members of the Saints Crossing Department of Health. And... Uh, You'd certainly be welcome to walk up to us and uh, introduce yourself. Uh, tell us all your fancy stories about Los Angeles and, and so forth. Uh, pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you, I'm sure. Yes. Most of the most of the transit authorities are uh, very friendly once you crack their uh, dour uh, appearance. But uh, a lot of times they just kind of stand around and make sure that nothing happens to us, which is amazing. I love it. I don't have to drive a carriage. But. Are, are you dour? Uh, ask my siblings. Okay, who are your siblings? Rhett Cassidy, Tess Cassidy, Emma Cassidy, Ella Cassidy, uh, Hoppa Cassidy. Just rattle off the That's Cassidy. A lot of family. There's, there's more. There's, there's more. Those are just the first ones that kind of my mind. Well, Tess Cassidy, Tess Cassidy is uh, with the St. Cross and Department of Health. Mm -hmm. And Rhett is a deputy. Cassidy. Interesting. And, and apparently the name is making Emerson think of something. <laughs> Cassidy. Well, I think the general consensus upon any law enforcement <clears throat> agency is that they appreciate the help that any kind of health department, whether it be nurses or doctors, is always appreciated. Well, I hope so, because uh, more than likely I'm going to be pulling bullets out of you within a month. Hopefully not. I, I, There's the thought. I really hope not. I've not had to take anything out of Mr. Emerson here, which has been fantastic. Yeah, I avoid bullets because I try to make friends with all the criminals. I don't not know if that's the best idea, but... Uh, lifelong friends, more like casual acquaintances who appreciate each other. Oh, I see. Uh, regardless. I'm, um, sure, I'm sure it will happen, but I... Hope it doesn't. I do as well. I hope the same. Uh, for for all but of our sakes. I'm aware that the uh, I've been riding from town to town to try to meet the deputies I'm going to be working with soon, and it seems like personnel isn't very available to go from town to town as often as they want to. Well, it seems to me same that, can be uh, said for the medical personnel. Well, we're. Smaller department actually than the uh, the sheriff's department is, believe it or not. But uh, a lot of times we get told uh, to stage somewhere in particular, and uh, we stay there. And we'll see deputies. Uh, they'll they'll come through. They'll say hello. They'll leave, come back, etc. Sometimes they bring criminals with them, and there's no injured to treat. Sometimes there's some criminals we got to look at. Uh, sometimes it's a whole squad of law. Um, just kind of depends on the evening, I suppose. Hmm. But uh, you you learn pretty quick who's uh, dangerous, who's friendly, who's not, etc. So, I gotta head to Blackwater, but I'll see you all soon. Are uh, Are you doing official stuff? You want to take him with you? Introduce him to people. I was going to officially be on official duty. Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe maybe yes. he doesn't go with you then. I, I think he has a girlfriend or fiance that he was telling me about that he well, might be dealing with. Is, uh, I'm not sure I'm allowed to bring someone who's not technically a real deputy on a ride along. So that's why I was going to 
No, it's okay. I. I mean, I you could. I, I, just, I, just I don't know how that works. I would. I would ask a sheriff probably before I would do that. So you're maybe in the right there. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm concerned about. Um, <coughs> Insu, uh, you have my telegram. Please do reach out to me as soon as even today. I'm gonna go try to find a deputy and ask them if I can bring you along. Okay, I will probably be staying here for the next foreseeable hour. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. See you all. I'm. I'm gonna go look at the. The uh, tip line, Miss Cassidy. Now he's coming. Miss Cassidy, your hunch, your hunch was good. Now Dr. Fletcher is headed this way. Right, I knew it would only be a matter of time. I suppose he can only sit resist. in roads. He can only sit in roads for so long. <laughs> yes. How long have you been doing it for? Now in a month. We'll get you going into it. Stagecoaches. Uh, they are my bread and butter. Stagecoaches. Yep. Apparently, the uh, the bigger they are, the easier she can work them. Maybe out of context, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. Uh, <laughs> to make sure that isn't repeated in the vicinity of Fletcher. Otherwise, oh. I will rue the day I spoke it. Well, I spoke it, not you. So, uh, no, I'll but uh, I will. I will try not to repeat that. <laughs> but yes, Los Angeles is very different so far from the interactions I've been having with. Uh, personnel belonging to the government here. Yes, I, I imagine so. <laughs> it's going to be a definite shock whenever I try to get in the hang of things, but I feel like I might have an easier time coming to understand this than somebody that is going to go straight into the department as a cadet or recruit or whatever they call them. Uh, cadet, I think you were right the first time. I think rangers have recruits. We have trainees. Uh, what do they oh, call yes, new transit uh, officers, Cassidy? Trainees. Train okay, so we both have trainees. All right. Yeah, we don't have a special word for anything for them, to my knowledge. So I wasn't called anything special other than trainee. Right, right. So I don't know if how the exchange of states works, but if I have a training in basic life-saving certification. Do I re-go through the class within the uh, Saints Crossing Medical Department? Well, the fantastic news for you... Well, let me let me start over. You want good news you want bad news? Uh, bad news, always. Bad news is I do not officially know the answer to your question. The good news is that uh, Dr. Fletcher, who is on his way here, not only will know the answer to the question... He's also probably the person that you would actually need to talk to if it will transfer. Okay. So, ideally, you will have the answer to that question very shortly. Yes, I have the uh, paperwork, but I'm assuming he's probably going to be... Is there somebody inside that's needing tended to? Is that why he's coming here? No, uh, he's, he's just coming here because uh, I'm here and... Uh, Miss Cassidy is here. We okay. medics medics you'll you'll find tend to group up in one area rather than all be spread out because uh, well we we'll heal anybody and uh, a lot of us don't carry weapons when we're on duty so any protection that we would need would either come from our lovely transit officer here or uh, you know the, the sheriff's department and the sheriff's department often likes to ask us to stage in particular places I sort of mentioned this earlier so we might be staying you know in blackwater or something for a couple hours before anything happens so it's just sometimes it's easier to just all have us in one spot <clears throat> basically uh hurry up and wait yeah that's a lot that's of it but kind of um, expression of it yeah it's a lot of it but it's not all bad because you know then say a ranger has somebody that uh, got thrown off their horse and savaged by wolves 
Well, if, if they know more or less where we're supposed to be, then they can just go there instead of running to a telegram office and trying to telegram where the hell are all the medics and then going to the tip line to see if we reply. If they already know, they can just take the injured person and go to the nearest town and uh, there we are. So I was told that the rangers are impromptu law enforcement officials when it comes to animals by uh, Deputy Grimes. Um, and then they have two different differentiating ponchos, I believe. Uh, I green think most, and gray. most of them were green. There's a couple of gray ones. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the gray one means. Uh, to be honest I was with told you. it was uh, recruits versus actual rangers. So the gray ones are just their trainees. Mm. Dr. Fletcher. Hello, hello. After you check the uh, tip line, we got a gentleman here with a question for you. Oh my, hold on. Yep. Uh, Fletcher's a good one. You'll uh, you'll like him, I think. I think I'll like all of you, to be honest. So I hope so. I hope so. so. Yes, sir. Uh, remind me of your oh. name. Um, I'm N. Su Kwan. N. Su Kwan. Mr. N. Su Kwan here is a Los Angeles police officer who's going to be uh, transferring, hopefully in the next couple of days, over to be a member of the Shades Cross and Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. But he is a certification in what was it you said? Uh, basic life serving, basic life saving certification. Uh, he was wondering if that might translate over to us or have something to do with our medic certification, field medic I certification, or something. Mm. Well, I said I didn't know, but you would be the one to ask. Yes, we'll still need to, we'll still need to speak through the class, but to be quite frank. Considering your background, the class might just be more of a refresher for you. And to be honest, it takes about 15 minutes max. 20 minutes if you've got, well, 20 minutes if I'm being flowery. Okay. But we do it once a month. Uh, likely the next one will be a very early July, once some things have gotten sorted. <clears throat> uh, good Lord. Um, hold on one second. Do you have a citizen file? Yes, I do. Splendid, perfect, righty. Uh, give me just a moment. I do believe this is my cue to make the next file. Hold on. Last one was there. Right. All right, there we are. We have a date. Give me just a moment. And again, this is a senior doctor. Uh, William Fletcher with the uh, Saints Crossing Department of Health. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Fletcher. <laughs> Please just call me Flet. <laughs> I've just always been taught that the appropriate title should be put forth beyond somebody that has upholed so much training. <laughs> I'm still not used to be quite frank. It's... Uh, in something of an experience. <laughs> I would imagine medical school and further certification is difficult. The crossing is a trial by fire. Righty O, we on the day we will have three classes. You do not need to attend all three, you quite literally just need to attend one. They are at either three o'clock, seven o'clock or 11 o'clock by the Eastern Stars. Which one will suit you best? It would probably be the 11 o'clock by the Eastern Stars. Righty O. And I, I just want to, I want to remind you that, I mean, within the next few days, if I am not able to complete my transfer, I'll part, although it's been approved by the marshals. Um, I don't want to set anything in stone. Mm -hmm. I would imagine I still have to speak to proper authorities before that gets carried over. Well, yes. It, this is what this will essentially do. So, in the ideal world, what's going to happen is I'm going to note your, da your name down in our nominations for the training. We'll perform a background check to go through and make sure all is well. Considering the fact you're becoming a cadet, it's mostly a moot point, but this standard procedure, you know how it goes. Mr. Moody is considered the one who's nominating you. 
and then once all is said and done, I will have you noted down. I'm, to be quite frank, I'm putting your name down on the last class at the moment because I don't <laughs> see if, if you're going to be a deputy. Clearly, you've got a clean record, so all is well there. And you will get a telegram just as a reminder, the week of, just to say hello, just you know, a little gentle nudge. But just as I'm putting your name down, could you spell it out for me? Yes, uh, in English it is I N S U. K W A N G. Right here, got it. Thank you very much. Quang. Right here, I'm just going to tie the paper in a little bit. If you'll pardon me. I know you are. Excellent. Um, I'm not sure if else I'll be a cadet. I think I'm just going to be a cross lateral transfer. Yeah, I'm. I'm but I mean, that's that's more their side than it is ours. And, uh, yeah, it won't matter yeah. too much. As far as we're concerned... Honestly, we just... I would rather be a cadet than just, you know, go right into it without having any idea of how the department works. But sure, we'll I imagine the undersheriffs talk about I imagine, it. I imagine that uh, you probably don't ride a horse all that much in uh, Los Angeles. No. No. It's usually by a uh, wagon. Right, right, well, <laughs> it would be different then, I imagine. Yep, I mean, him saying the, the cadet thing is pretty much entirely just, we're not all that concerned about your record, it's probably going to come back. Yeah, clean. yeah, yeah, I, got, I gotcha. What the, he said it was like early July, I'll just ask him whenever he gets back out. Yeah, it'll probably be on a weekend. Um, I think the last one was... 6th of July. 6th of, of July. July. There okay. you are. Yep. Perfect. I think the last one might have been like the 7th of June. Yeah. Oh. That's an easy way to remember my... Um, when I came on board then. That was, that was the day I got my sash. Officially. How long did you have to go through the training process for medical personnel? Oh, my training was probably, well, nobody's training is exactly the same. And I had a lot of uh, background already from my wife. Um, I think it probably took me maybe uh, around three weeks. And I'm sure it's a constant learning experience. Oh, very much so, very much so. Ah, yes, and the thunder. If you haven't been through it already, you'll have noticed that the weather's quite loud here. I am going to be clocking off for the evening. I've updated the paperwork. It's all in. Just need to get the official part out of the way, but I look forward to seeing you again. Absolutely, Fletcher. It was good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Right, yeah, you will have a safe evening, alright? Honestly, Doc, I'm going to do the same. That was a wise idea. That's what I just say. I'm following through. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to try to go to this west, as people call it, and see what it's like. Mm, sure. Be, uh, be careful out that way. Is there something in particular to look out for? People. Well, I mean, yeah, that. People? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that can be a bit. Mm. I'll just not ride with a sidearm or anything. Because mm. don't. Be wary of those. Those are out there in the in the west. Mm -hmm. The desert. They're yep. Uh, everywhere. Yep. Mm, they're not quite interesting. Right. They're most places. I will look out for these wolves. It was good to speak with all of you, and thank you for the opportunity to follow through the training in July. Of course. Good to meet you, Looking sir. Forward to me. You have a good rest of the night. You as well, my friend. You as well. All right. Well, you gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your evening in this torrential downpour that we have. <laughs> 
Right. Yep, you as well. I'm gonna be waiting for a little longer. Just to try and catch up with an old friend, but other than that, I'm gonna get straight to bed after that. Honestly, I'd like to just go straight to bed now, but. Uh, we'll see. Considering uh, the fellow uh, that was just here got introduced to us by Deputy Emerson Thoreau, I figured it probably would be yeah. good to just, yep. But Honestly, who knows? I'll do the background check well. just as we do with all of it. You as well. Farewell. Um, this essentially gives him the three hours certification or training that the deputies can get if they want to. So right, right. He's already going to have a leg up on the other cadets. <laughs> He uh, he doesn't seem to think he'll uh, be a cadet. He thinks maybe he'll just be a, a what do you call it, a transfer? Mm, maybe, maybe. I don't we'll know. See. I, I it depends on how they do things. I don't know how that goes. We but, shall see. I don't know. I uh, I might be around tomorrow night again, and mm. maybe the night again following. But uh, I'm gonna spend most of the weekend uh, out of state. So. Right here. You make sure you have a good evening, right? Rest one. You as well, Doc. You as well. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> I don't want to just like yeah we'll call this good thanks friends appreciate you being here uh, we'll be back maybe tomorrow maybe not maybe the day following um, either way Uh, good night. Thanks for hanging.